Dale Carnegie once said that inaction breeds fear and doubt, while action breeds courage and confidence. You want to conquer your fear? Stop staying at home and waiting for it, thinking about it. Go out there and get busy. Hmm, I think it's time that we have a talk. We should have a talk. Let's see. Uh, how about how to overcome your fear? Ooh, I like the sound of that. That's exactly the talk that we're gonna have today, my fellow freedom fighters. How to overcome your fear. Intro! How's it going my fellow freedom fighters? It's your boy Mike Vasile from MikeVasile.com and in today's video we are here in the Chapung Waterfalls here in Bali, Indonesia where we are going and taking epic Instagram pictures like this one and we're also recording for this epic montage of 365 days in Bali which we're recording on a daily basis for you guys to really show the ultimate freedom fighter movement and whatnot. One of the biggest questions that I wanted to make sure that got answered was Mike, seeing you live your life is so awesome but my biggest concern is my own fear. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to actually overcome this fear. And the best way for me to actually really relay this message for you is kind of like a story on what happened in my life, okay? Because when I was younger, man, my entire life was filled with fear. I was afraid of going out, I was afraid of getting sick, I was afraid of getting judged by others. And as I got to college, right, my fear got worse. I, I, I feared disappointing my parents, I feared not winning their approval, I feared getting judged by my classmates when I even left college. And that was actually one of the biggest fears in my life, and that was dropping out of college and facing the fear of the constant ridicule from my family and my friends and my college friends and even like pe the people in my fraternity back in the day when I was in a fraternity. You know, I got ridiculed so much and my fear was like, holy crap, what if I just end up life as a failure, okay? That was my biggest fear, fear of failure. And it's kind of like any other fear that you had, but for some reason, this was like constricting me, guys. But then I figured out exactly how to overcome that fear and the process that I, allowed myself to do to overcome that fear should help you guys in whatever fear that you have. It could be fear of business, fear of talking to the person you like, fear of getting that body that you want because you're afraid of what people may think at you at the gym. Applying these three questions into your life will literally change your life. So guys, whatever fear that you have, the first thing that you want to do is first define the fear. Because the thing about fear, man, is you're not even afraid of the fear that you have. You're just afraid of the unknown. And it's the unknown that eludes us. That is why the first thing that you need to do is define your fear. So for example, with me, I was like afraid. I was like, oh my God, um, I'm afraid of getting judged. That, that's what I realized. Before I was just afraid of my parents and what they would think. But ultimately, when I was leaving college and leaving dental school, my biggest fear was, oh my God, what is my mom gonna think? What is my dad gonna think? What is my friends gonna think? What is my girlfriend at the time gonna think? Are they gonna see me as a failure? What if I disappoint all the people that I care about? Okay, so that was step number one, defining the fear. Now that I define it, I was like, oh, it's not even that bad, right? It's not even that bad. So the second thing that I did was, okay, I'm gonna play out the worst case possible scenario in my brain. And I know you're probably thinking, you're like, Mike, what the hell, what, what happened to optimism? What happened to positive thinking? And if you know, if you think you can, you think you can. Guys, like I said, remember, the biggest problem with fear is that it is unknown. And for example, the reason why you're not going out there and taking those risks that aren't even risks in health, wealth, love, or happiness, right, is because you're afraid of what you do not know. That's why people are so afraid of death, because they don't know what's gonna happen after, right? So the next thing you wanna do is just define the worst case scenario. So I was like, okay, here I am leaving college. What is the worst case scenario that could happen? Okay, say I had I had like around $1,000 to my name. So I was like thinking of all these different businesses I could do from like affiliate marketing to dropshipping to YouTube. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have like $1,000 to try 
and make my dreams into reality to try to build this like online business so that I could actually have freedom for myself. And in the time actually like saving up for that $1,000, dude, I was doing like side hustles, like working for a dental office. I was a summer camp counselor. I even tried my act as a model and tried doing some modeling gigs for the people that have maybe seen me on some advertisements. That was like before I actually like quote unquote made it in life. Now I just have random little pictures of myself in random catalogs and like some golfing places and stuff like that. It's very interesting by the way, but all that was to, you know, just like save up the money to really get that first $1,000 to really invest in my business, right? So the worst case scenario that I played out for myself was what would happen if I had this $1,000, the only $1,000 to my name, the worst case scenario is what if I lost it, right? What if I ended up losing it all in business or in whatever and I just had to go back to square one? So I played it out. I was like, okay, worst case scenario, I had a thousand bucks. If this business doesn't work, then what would happen? Oh, well, yeah, my mom will probably think I'm a failure. Yeah, my dad will probably think I'm a failure. Yeah, all my friends back in college would be like, I told you so, Mike, you should have stuck in college. And then when I realized that that was like the worst case scenario, I was like, okay, that's not even that bad. I mean, that's kind of like what I was experiencing at that moment. So I was like, okay, this is kind of like the worst it could get. So it could only go up. So the moment I defined the worst case scenario, the third thing that I want you guys to do after you define your first worst case scenario, okay, number one, remember, you first define what it is you're afraid of. Number two, define the worst case scenario. The third thing that you should do is define an action plan for that worst case scenario because odds are the worst case scenario is not going to happen. But if you actually have an action plan to implement when you are facing the worst of the worst, then you're gonna have this confidence to you because you were ready and you were prepared and now you have this certainty to your approach. And that's like the biggest thing, man. So that's what I did. I defined what it was that I was afraid of. I said the worst case scenario and the third thing was that my action plan, okay? I was like, worst case scenario, I lose a thousand dollars and a lot of my family and my friends think I'm an idiot for the time being. So what am I gonna do? Oh, well, I don't know, I could still probably live at home with mom and dad, you know, eat that amazing Filipino cuisine, live off of that so the food would be free, the lodging would be free. Oh, I could probably get another job, do a couple more gigs, save up another $500 to $1,000, and then guess what? I could try my luck in another business. And it kind of goes back to the quote that Mark Cuban says, you do not have to be right 1,000 times to become successful, you only need to be right once. And that's what happened when I realized that the worst case scenario wasn't even that bad. My fear was gone, guys. And I know right now, it doesn't matter what is going on. Like I said, in your life, you might be afraid for getting, you know, being judged at the gym. You might be afraid of failing in business. You might be afraid of what your parents might think or your family might think or your friends might think on whatever venture that you are currently doing right now. But that should be none of your fear. None of your fear because you will be ready with these three questions. And now people ask me, they're like, Mike, now you're living a life of freedom and abundance and you're doing cool things like taking cool Instagram pictures with girls and waterfalls and whatnot and traveling. And like, even though you wear the same, same, but different t-shirt, Thailand inside joke for those that have been in Thailand, by the way, let me know. What are you now afraid of? And you know, when I first got asked this question, my biggest fear at the end of the day was death. But then looking back, my new fear is not living while I was alive, guys. And I hopefully that kind of sparks some kind of imagination or creativity process in your brain actually take action, guys. And hopefully this helps. Like I said, man, if you like this, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I release these videos. And like if this kind of resonates with you and if you want more topics like this. And for guys, if you want the free financial freedom resources, get them in the link in the description for everywhere on how to get a better health, wealth, love, and happiness. Link in below, guys. And for everyone that wants to join me in the mastermind group, totally free, link in the description. So guys, hopefully this helps. Do you guys love this? I love you guys. Welcome to the Freedom Fighter family. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take these guys.